Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the top three. Hey, that's right, this is the top three and we're gonna look at the top three magicians of our generation. Hey, these are the top three magicians I think that are currently the best in the world. These are people that are alive right now. <laughs> uh, and I think, uh, you know, you line up all the magicians from, you know, best to least. And I think these guys are at the top three. Gotta have some criteria. Gotta have some criteria though, because after I do this review, you're gonna say, well, what about this guy? What about this guy? What about this guy? Hey, all your suggestions, they're really good. Hey, I like all your guys too. I do. There's a lot, there's lots of magicians that I look up to and respect and think that are freaking awesome, okay? But there's only three that can be in the top three. And so what are my qualifiers? What are my qualifications? Number one, they gotta have skills, okay? They gotta have skills to pay the bills. They gotta have skills for days, okay? They gotta have no argument that these gentlemen uh, can, can do it. They can pull it off. They, you could stick it in front of them and they could do it easy breezy, okay? So uh, gotta have skills. Number two, they gotta be a showman, okay? They gotta be a showman. They gotta be somebody who the world uh, would recognize as being an entertainer. You know, somebody, that means that uh, they can get up there, whether it's on stage or one-on-one, -on -one, and they convincingly play the part of the magician, okay? Gotta be a showman. And number three, popularity. Hey, if you're the best, then people know you. That's just, that's just how it goes. You know, you, you can't say, well, what about this guy? Yeah, but if I walk up to some random guy in the street and I say, hey, do you like so-and-so? And they're like, who's that? Well, then how, are they really the best if the world doesn't know who they are? I mean, they're probably really good, but are they the best? And that's what we're looking at today. The top three magicians of our generation alive today. Let's get into it. Number three, David Blaine. You gotta put David Blaine in the top three. You got to. Okay, uh, David Blaine, uh, if you don't know, his name is David Blaine White. He was born April 4th, 1973 in Brooklyn, New York. Does a lot of his uh, specials in New York City. Uh, legend has it that when Blaine was four years old, he saw a magician performing magic in the subway and that inspired him to be a magician. Uh, his dad was a Vietnam vet who died very early on in his life. Uh, from what David has said, his dad died from a heroin overdose and he was raised by his mom for the rest of his life, and his mom later died when David was 22. Blaine's first television special, Street Magic, that's been called the best TV magic special ever done and the biggest breakthrough in our lifetime. Hence, top three. Uh, David Blaine revolutionized the way magic is shown on TV. He focuses on spectator reactions. That was a, that was a first, you know? He, he blazed the trail right there. His idea was to turn the camera around on the people watching who were, uh, you know, watching the trick instead of being on the performer the whole time. And that made the audience watch the audience. And so the New York Times noted that he'd taken the craft that's been around for hundreds of years and done something unique and fresh with it. And according to the New York Daily News, Blaine can lay claim to his own brand of wizardry. The magic he offers operates on an uncommonly personal level. And so both street magic and then his second special magic man both had Paul Harris as his technical advisor. You might remember Paul Harris uh, inspired the strange traveler's effect that you see David Blaine done. Uh, since then, uh, David Blaine has done Buried Alive, Frozen in Time, Vertigo, Mysterious Stranger, Above the Below, Drowned Alive, Revolution, Back of Death. He wrote a book, he did Electrified, and he did Real or Magic. All right, number two, Teller from Penn and Teller. That's right, Teller. Teller was born Raymond Joseph Teller, uh, February 14th, 1948. Teller uh, is from fin Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Teller met Penn Jillette in 1974, and they played the Minnesota Renaissance Festival. Of course, you know that Teller doesn't speak in his act. His persona, uh, his stage presence is to remain quiet. And if you ever see him in an interview where he does speak, they kind of hide his face or they blur his mouth. Uh, Teller actually legally changed his name from Raymond Joseph Teller to just Teller and he possesses a United States passport even that says that. Uh, on April 5th, 2013, Penn and Teller were honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in the live performance category. Their star is the 2,494th award 
and it's near the star dedicated to Harry Houdini, so that is kind of cool. And the following day, they were recognized by the Magic Castle with the Magicians of the Year Award. Teller has written books, he's co-directed Macbeth, he's been a guest on Bill Nye the Science Guy, he's been a guest on Miami Vice. Uh, currently, right now, if you watch Penn and Teller's Fool Us, you know that Teller is the brilliant one. He is the mastermind behind figuring out how all those tricks are done. And then when you hear just his vast knowledge of just you know knowing uh, who developed each and every trick, uh, and then if you ever go see him live, I've had the privilege of seeing him live. He is amazing. This guy can do cards. He can do close up. He can do sleight of hands. He can do cigarette magic. He can do coin magic. He can do stage magic. He can do gag magic. He's by far skills to pay the bills. And again, widely known. Teller is your number two. And number one, number one. Darren Brown. Darren Brown is easily the best living magician alive right now. Uh, Darren Brown was born in Croydon, Surrey, to uh, his parents, Chris and Bob, and his brother of nine years, uh, his junior. Uh, Brown was privately educated at Whitgift School in South Croydon, where his father coached swimming. Uh, you can see a little bit of that on one of his TV specials. He takes you back to his high school and shows you the pool where he learned. Uh, he studied law and German at the University of Bristol. And while he was there, he attended a hypnotist show by a gentleman named Martins Taylor, which inspired him to turn to illusion and hypnosis as a career. And while he was an undergraduate, he started working as a conjurer. He performed the traditional skills of close-up magic in bars and restaurants. And in 1982, he started performing stage shows at the University of Bristol under the stage name Darren V. Brown. All right, so Darren Brown, you know he's an English mentalist, he's an illusionist, and since his television debut, uh, Mind Control, which came out in 2000, uh, his popularity has just grown and grown and grown. He's had several uh, stage tours, several television TV specials, he's written books for magicians as well as books for the general public, and he's also a painter, he does caricatures of famous people. Um, Brown does tell people that he doesn't possess any supernatural powers, uh, he does say that, he does talk about how he exposes methods uh, of faith healers and mediums. He makes it very clear in his performance that he doesn't have abilities, but you know what? People just don't believe him. That's how good he is. He can convince people that he has power, even though he flat out says he doesn't. Um, and if you've ever seen him live, he is a magician fooler time and time again. He blows me away. So many of his specs. I've read his books, I have, and I still don't know how they're done. Uh, easily, Darren Brown is your number one. All right, so that is my top three of uh, best magicians alive today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've got your top three. I would love to know what it is. Put it down in the comment section below. Let me know what your top three is, and uh, we'll have a fun discussion about that. All right, see you later. Bye.